This is Michael Mixer. I am reviewing today Lil Troy Back to Ballin' for an album review video right now. Lil Troy resurfaced with a comeback album for the year 2001 after sitting fat down south in prison serving a penitentiary sentence in Baytown, Texas. He surprised music critics such as All Music Guide, Houston Chronicle, MTV, and BET with his attempt of a comeback album. After all, nobody would expect or anticipate after serving a prison sentence Lil Troy would resurface back into the music scene. However, Back to Ballin' failed to meet the same levels of success as the predecessor album Sittin' Fat Down South achieved, reaching platinum status of 2 million units sold. Lil Troy is a hit and miss type of artist, after all, meaning that some of his tracks on his albums are worth listening to and others are not. His albums have some weak points and Back to Ballin' is no exception. Some tracks are worth listening to while others aren't. Lil Troy fans slept and overlooked this album which resulted and Lil Troy's popularity to fade in obscurity after 2002. Four Years is the beginning comeback track that is the first full track on the Back to Ballin' album. For years, Lil Troy has been deep up in his rap game, drug game, and textile manufacturing market. He's been deep in the game since the 1980s. Lil Troy pays homage and tribute to Notorious B.I.G. by titling this next track Mo Money Mo Problems. No, he doesn't try to jock or copy his flow in terms of rapping. The more money Lil Troy has, the more problems he's likely to encounter. He encounters these problems while having large sums amount of money. It gets stressful. After all, having money can lead to having problems, as they say. However, now Lil Troy warns the haters, gossipers, and snitches out there to keep his name out their mouths on Keep My Name Out Your Mouth. Hardcore rap meets gangster rap with a touch of lyricism on Keep My Name Out Your Mouth. Billy Cook lays down the soulful vocals on with his voice on his track. You can hear his work all over his track. Keep My Name Out Your Mouth seems to be similar to what Big Pokey, ESG, UGK, DJ, DMD, or Lil Kiki would rap about. Lil Troy turns ladies' night into lesbian nights. Lesbian Nights contains replayed elements and samples from Ladies Night by Cool in the Gang. Billy Cook lays down the soulful chorus. Lesbian Nights sounds like a title for a pornography flick. It's back to ballin' for Lil Troy on Back to Ballin'. It's back to business as usual for Lil Troy. Ballin' is what Lil Troy does best. This is another track that was a single for this album. It was on the B-side of the We Gone Lean single issued on vinyl. Also, Back to Ballin contains elements that sample Love You Inside and Out by Bee Gees. We Gon' Lean is the track that holds down the weight of the whole album, as this was the number one hit single off the album that received major airplay on the radio in Texas and the southern United States. Yes, this is the same We Gon' Lean that featured Will Lean of the Botany Boys and Lil Flip of Group HSE. Lil Flip dished out the illest rhymes on this track. The music video received a bit of minor rotation, on MTV and BET back in 2001 when it first came out, Lil Flip wrote a portion of the track. Buckle is a freestyle rap track, which is another weak track. It's rather weak in terms of lyrics and quality in comparison to the other tracks on this album. Wired Up is a lyricist freestyle. Lil Troy gets all wound up and wired up on this track, his freestyle rap. There He Go is a flow track. There He Go is not the best track on the album. It's rather weak in terms of lyrics and quality in comparison. 